Okay, would everyone please turn off or silence your cell phones and electronic devices, and please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence, and please remember um, Jim James Wright, former county legislator who passed away Tuesday. like to say that James Wright was a, I came into the legislature 25 years ago and he was a legislator for my first four years and he was a, a gentleman and scholar and uh, very knowledgeable and, and uh, it was great working with him and he will be missed. Roll call. Benelli? Here. Paduk? Here. Amo? Here. Anagnostakis? Present. Benton? Here. Cheney? Here. Fagione? Here. Hines? Here. Kulasek? <laughs> Lujan? Present. Minuta? Here. O'Donnell? Here. Riskevich? Here. Sassy? Here. Sierra? Here. Staganga? Here. Sutherland? Here. Tautel? Here. Tui? Here. Vero? Here. Brescia? Here. 21 present. Okay, we do have one recognition proclamation. Um, I would ask Paul, Legislator Paul Riskevich to go up front and present it. Recognizing March 2019 is Myeloma Action Month. And Adina Epstein, if she's here, to go up. Come up to the front. Is Adina here? Uh, no, she didn't make it. Okay, Paul, do the presentation. Uh, yeah, I know uh, last year we did this uh, the, for the first time. Uh, basically, we're doing a proclamation uh, recognizing uh, March 2019 as Myeloma Action Month. And I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, multiple. Multiple myeloma is uh, a fairly rare form of cancer. However, it is the most common form of blood cancer. And uh, it's, um, they do have a local support group here uh, in Goshen. And um, I know the, the leader of that group, uh, Dina Epstein, uh, she was here last year to, to uh, receive the proclamation, but she did have a treatment today. So unfortunately, she couldn't be here. Um, but I will be going to their monthly uh, group meeting to present the proclamation there, so. Uh, Thank you, Paul. Yep. Appreciate it. Okay. Before we start public participation, uh, can't even talk tonight. Participation, I would like to recognize one James O'Donnell, our county legislator. We're very proud of him. He has been named the Grand Marshal for the 43rd Mid-Hudson St. Patrick's Parade to be held on March 10th in the Village of Goshen right here. Um, I'm just gonna read this short little note because it's not that long. Jim and his wife of 43 years, Margaret, have eight children. And how many? 46 years. 40, oh, somebody made a mistake here, Jim. <laughs> Who's counting, right? <laughs> and eight children, how many grandchildren? How many grandchildren, Jim? No, children. Seven grandchildren. Jim has a sterling career in law enforcement with New York State Police, MTA Police, and community operations throughout the region. The purpose of this letter is to ask you to prepare a congratulatory letter, which I'll give on Sunday at his breakfast, to Jim for this great honor and for all the dedication to his family and community and then they have the itinerary. But try to make it out for the parade. It's a great parade. It's supposed to be a little cold on Sunday, but uh, the Irish will be out in full force. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> We're supposed to have a picture of Jim up here? <laughs> the Miami Beach trip and everything, right? That's it? Yeah. OK. 
Okay, good evening. Thank you for letting me address you tonight. I wanted to talk uh, briefly about the um, film department. On the Orange County website, there are wonderful resources for the parks department. And there's detailed information on every single park, but there's nothing at all about the film office. The film office exists and it has a very good website. The proposal in front of you wants to place it under the administration of Orange County Tourism as a part-time job. This should be a full-time job and it should be fully independent and I would like you to consider what I have to say. In reality, it's often the arts that drive tourism, not the other way around. Uh, under Mr. Newhouse, the Council on the Arts has met, been made uh, pretty much invisible, and I think it's suffered since the departure of uh, Dawn Ansborough from that, from that department. The town boards are not interested in the arts because they can't further ambitions, and when government thinks of the arts, they consider it a drain on the economy, frivolous, discretionary spending that nobody will miss when the budgets are slashed. I'm here to tell you that the film industry is a viable industry in Orange County and one that could easily thrive as a separate commission. This is a tremendous untapped resource. There's a great number of, I, I'm sure you all have this, Citizen Foundation Quality of Life study. There's quite a bit of detail about the amount of revenue that derives from the various uh, arts industries in Orange County. The nonprofit arts and culture is a $16.13 million industry in Orange County. That's quite a bit of money. One that supports 341 full-time equivalent jobs and generates 1.3 million in local and state revenue. Uh, the film industry in Orange County employs 397 people as of 2015. Um, I spoke today to Gabrielle Ann Carteris, who is the president of SAG-AFTRA. She's somebody that I do know. She's an American actress. She's the trade union leader. She's here in New York to discuss their union contracts. The contracts and the trade unions are very, very important because they're a great source of jobs. These are people that we should be in contact with on a regular basis. Ms. Dana from the tourism department said that the mid in the Mid-Hudson News, and this I don't know that they're quoting her correctly, we're getting production scout calls to see some of our attractions. There has to be a separate film office, in my opinion. Familiar with the needs of production companies, familiar with the unions, familiar with their regulations, familiar with the industry in general. Many of these calls are coming to private individuals. A friend uh, just did a shoot for a movie this past weekend with his airplane at Orange County. I don't know if you saw it. And they filmed the plane landing and taking off last Friday. And they did quite a number of scenes at the hangar. Uh, and this is a, it's actually it's a, a biography from what I understand. Um, the person in charge of the film office should be in constant contact with these people. They should be doing presentations to the film company, showing them the available sites, touting the unique venues that we have here in the Hudson Valley. There's no other place that looks like the Hudson Valley. And um, friends of mine, I have a, a good friend who's a, uh, Emmy Award winning set designer, she works on a major television pro, uh, show. They were in Piermont the other day, you know, and they were looking for something very specific. We had it here as well, up in Orange County. So I'm trying to talk to these people to get up here. I don't want a job. I'm retired. I've done. I, <laughs> I worked. But I do think you should really consider it making this a really viable posi uh, position. They're not asking for pilots, they don't want clawbacks, they don't want, you know, they, they don't cost you anything. They bring dry cleaning, they bring people to the hardware stores, they bring you carpenters, they bring you a tremendous drawdown of what they're doing here. They go out to restaurants at night, they stay in the hotels when they have a big production. This brings a lot of revenue to Orange County. Don't treat it like a poor stepchild and stick it somewhere in some other, other uh, agency. I really would love for you to consider making it its own entity. Thank you. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, that's the only speaker there. Um, A, one receiving file, I believe, right? I do have an A1. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Majority Leader Benelli. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I respectfully uh, move to approve the minutes of December 6th and December 20th of 2018. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Okay, Majority Leader Benelli again. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. And I would like to move to vote collectively on items number 26 and 27. Second. 
Okay, that will be done. Any referrals, consents, or withdrawals? None? Okay, let's get started. Uh, number one. Legislator Stenanga, Tortel, Benton. Resolution authorizing the making of an agreement between the County of Orange and the County Employees Unit of the Orange County Chapter of the Civil Service Employees Association, Inc. in relation to the terms and conditions of employment pursuant to Article 14 of the Civil Service Law known as the Public Employees Fair Employment Act. Second. Discussion? You want to be added? John Vero added. The Duke, all Dems, okay. All Republicans, Independents, Okay, all added. Roll call. Benelli? Aye. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Okay, number two. Legislators Fagione, Sierra, and Benton, an act amending Act Number 22 of 1971 is last amended by Act Number 9 of 2015 by substituting new salary schedules therein applicable to all employees of the County of Orange who are included in the negotiating unit represented by the County Employees Unit of the Orange County Chapter of the Civil Service Employees Association, Inc. Second. Discussion? Roll. Mr. Genga added. Okay, roll call. Hines added too. Tartell added. Okay, roll call. Fidelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartell? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number three. Legislators Benton, Staganga, and Sierra, an act amending Act Number 22 of 1971, as last amended by Act Number 10 of 2015, by inserting therein a new salary list for certain Orange County employees not included in the negotiating unit represented by the County Employees Unit of the Orange County Chapter of the CSEA, Inc. Second. Discussion? Yes, Majority Leader. Uh, I just wanted to mention on these, on, this is the last of the three resolutions dealing with the CSEA contract. Uh, I, I would just like to applaud the efforts of our own team led by um, Steve Gross and the CSEA team as well. Uh, they really got together and they worked very, very hard to present us with a very reasonable contract in order for us to move forward on it. And I do know that some of the CSE workers are in the audience this evening. And I thank them very much, and I wanted to recognize them. This is a contract that, um, for probably the longest time in history, it's done on time. And that's a testament to all of you that work together so well. So thank you very much. Thank you, Majority Leader. Do we want Rep all Republicans on this? OK, all Democrats? OK, Independents? Good. I'd like to echo what you said, too. I know Steve Gross worked hard on this contract from the county side and the county exec's office, but the CSEA team, too, we thank you. Kathy, Denise, Courtney, and I forgot the other two names. What's their names? John and Gail. John and Gail? Okay, I see you right here. Gail Bow and John Del Valley, right? Yeah, thank you, guys. It is a very fair contract, give and take on both sides, as it always is, and uh, we're very proud of our employees in the county of Orange. If you remember a few years ago, the, the governor offered zeros or layoffs, and they went with the zeros. And uh, we've never offered that, I don't think. So, but it's a it's a very fair contract, um, you know. And, and you know, we're always open. And this is great that it's five years. I forgot Langdon Chapman. Yes, Langdon was in county attorney's office was involved too. Langdon Cap Chapman. So, very good agreement. I encourage all of you to vote for it. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 ayes. Okay, number four. Legislators Fagione, Staganga, Benton, and Benelli. Resolution confirming the appointment of Deborah Slazinski as Director of Budget for the County of Orange by the County Executive, pursuant to Section 4.02 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? 
Do you want to be added? Oh, you want to say something? Go ahead, John. I'd just like to congratulate Debbie on uh, this honor. Uh, she's worked with us over the years, especially at budget time, where we need a little, uh, shall we say, fine-tuning before the budget. And I appreciate the effort she's made. She's reached out to us in the past, and uh, I think it's a great idea. She's worked there hard in the department, and she's been rewarded and promoting from within. I think she's the right person. Thank you. Thank you. Laurie, did you want, you want to say something? Add. Add, OK. As uh, going through our first Sorry, somebody almost fell. Going through our first um, budget uh, on the county level, uh, Deborah, you were incredibly helpful and patient and kind, and I want to thank you for that. And I think she's excellent for the position and more than qualified. So thank you and congratulations. Okay, Stagenga, add or speak or both? I also just wanted to say that as a um, first-time legislator for going through the budget process this year, um, Debbie was fantastic. She answered all our questions. She was very um, helpful in anything we had and very patient because some of us were looking at a whole new process and a, and a larger idea. And so, so congratulations very much, and I look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you. Okay, Peter. Peter added. Any others? Okay. Paul, everybody? Yes. Okay. Everybody added. Debbie, is that your family with you? Yes, it is. All right, I'll give you 10 seconds. Introduce them all. Okay. My husband, Mark, my son, Christopher, my daughter, Heather, and my right hand in the office, Marie. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Yes. Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number five. Legislators Fagione, Tautel, Benton, and Anagnostakis. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate Assistant Director of Real Property Tax Services at the Department of Finance, Division of Real Property Tax Service Agency, pursuant to Section 2.02I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number six. Legislators Benton, Sassy, Staganga. Resolution confirming the appointment of Nicole Anderson as Director of Community Development for the County of Orange by the County Executive, pursuant to Section 18.06C of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. Cool, a sec added. I'd like to have my name added, and I'd also like to make a comment. Um, I've had the opportunity to work with Nicole since she uh, took the acting position with the Community Development Office, and because uh, I sit on the Community Development Committee, and uh, she walked into quite a uh, challenge in that there were a lot of staff that left. So there's all new staff there, along with herself. She really rose to the challenge, and she really sunk her heels in. And with her knowledge and her expertise and professionalism, uh, they're on their road to working as a very well-oiled office. And um, I want to congratulate her on that, because it was not a minor undertaking by any means. So I think she's a good fit for this, and I applaud the county executive's choice in making her the uh, new director of community development. Peter? Go ahead. <laughs> um, just to echo what uh, Majority Leader Benelli said, I also I have the honor of sitting uh, on the committee also, <clears throat> and um, it's uh, as as the Majority Leader said, there's a lot of people that have been there over the last 20 years. They've retired. Um, Nicole came in, did an excellent job. Um, we've met several times, and uh, she has uh, great ideas how to take uh, this committee and, and uh, move it forward and to update it and to digitize it and, 
and to uh, take the uh, new employees that are there now and uh, kind of get them all on the same page and go in the, in the right direction. And uh, I hope that's for another long, long time also so that uh, all the good work that Nicole does can uh, continue to benefit the residents of the county. And I'd like to be at it also. Absolutely. Okay. Paul, do you want to be added? Yes, Kevin Darian added. Okay. John Bureau added. Okay, Lori Tatel added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Russia. 21 eyes. Congratulations, Nicole. <laughs> you want to introduce your three sons and your husband? Excellent. Three boys and a husband. You got your hands full there, I'll tell you. Boys beat, go easy on mom. She's going to have big responsibility coming up. Okay, number seven. Legislators Hines, Baggione, Kulisek, Benuda. Resolution creating the Orange County Sewer District Number One Advisory Committee, a special committee of the Orange County Legislature, pursuant to Section 2.02Q of the Orange County Charter and Article 4, Paragraph G of the Legislative Manual. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Cheney and Paduke, resolution confirming the reappointments and appointment by the county executive to the Orange County Planning Board pursuant to section 9.03 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Majority Leader Benelli. Please out all Republicans. All Republicans. Thank you. Okay. Jim Kulisak added. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassi? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number nine. Legislators Paduke and Benelli. Resolution confirming the reappointment and appointment by the County Executive to the Orange County Board of Ethics pursuant to Local Law 2 of 1994. Majority Leader Benelli. I would request that all Republicans be added to this as well. All independents, all Democrats? No. No? Okay, you want to speak? Okay. Uh, I just would like to ask, Mr. Chairman, if we could separate these, vote on each person individually. Um, I don't see a problem with that. I don't know if we even need a motion to do that if there's no objections. Okay, so let's take uh, um, Jeffrey Berry first. Right. We'll call on Jeffrey Berry. Yep. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, and now on Curly W. Dillard. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? No. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Yes. Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? No. Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich, Sassi, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, yeah. Tui, Biro, yes. Brescia. 18 eyes, three no's. Okay, number 10. 
Legislators Benelli and Amo, resolution of the Orange County Legislature, pursuant to New York State Election Law Sections 3-302 and 3-420.1, approving the salary schedules for election inspectors, voting machine technicians, voting machine operators, poll clerks for nursing homes, poll clerks for court orders, polling place information clerks, polling place interpreter, post-election audit clerks, polling place VRA clerks, inspector training, green bag pickup, early voting inspectors, and per diem election workers for the election year 2019. Second. Discussion? Fagione added. Um, Joel added. Okay. Lori and Kevin Darian added. A roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 11. Legislators Paduke and Benelli, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of State pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Genga, added. A roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 12. Oh, sorry. Yes, Kevin Jerry. Okay, Wuhan added to number 11. No problem. 12. Legislators Hines and Kulasek, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Planning to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Transportation pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Yes. Stiganga added, Lujan added, Fagione added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 13. Legislators Fagione and Staganga. Resolution confirming the reappointments by the County Executive to the Orange County Police Advisory Board pursuant to Section 18.07A of the Orange County Charter. Second. Majority Leader Benelli. I request that all Republicans be added as sponsors. Thank you. Okay. All right. Kulasek added. Okay, roll call. Uh, Sierra added. You're already added. Oh, you want to speak? Okay. <laughs> Paggio wants to speak. You want to be added? Totel added. Go ahead, d -bone. Thanks, Chairman. I just uh, <clears throat> want to thank everyone and ask that uh, we have unanimous consent to vote on this. I've had the pleasure of uh, working with all three of these individuals here in the county and also locally in my community, and it's without a doubt all three are highly qualified and will do a great job. I want to thank the Commissioner Brendan Casey for uh, saying such kind words about Port Jura City Police Chief Bill Warden. and. Uh, I'd just like to mention that Bill Warden and I grew up together and went to high school together, so it's a pleasure that his name is being advanced, and I ask everyone to vote in favor. Thank you, Chairman. Okay. Kevin Darian, did you have your hand up? Yes. You want to be added? Yes. Okay. Yes. Kevin Darian added. Yeah. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tartel, Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 14. Legislator Sassy and Staganga, resolution authorizing the Orange County Department of Emergency Services, Police Services, to transfer funds from the general fund to restore alive at 25 revenue, pursuant to section 4.10 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion. Tartel added, Tui added, Menuda added, Paduke added. Cheney added, and Janet added, I'm sorry. Okay, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? 
Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tautel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 ayes. Okay, number 15. Legislators Cheney, Staganga, Benton, and Kulasek. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2019 county budget for the Division of Tourism pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Yes, Kevin Deering. You want to speak? Okay. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Uh, first, I would just want to begin by saying that I'm, I'm you know, really glad that we, have, you know, we're able to hopefully bring these funds to um, to this office. Um, I know that this was a big discussion last year. Um, you know, we had a lot of people worried about what was going to happen to the film office and the future of film in Orange County. Um, personally, I've I've always been a big supporter. I believe that it brings you know, millions of dollars of revenue, creates uh, so many jobs. Um, the the things that we can't measure are so many. Um, and, and I think that that's precisely why I was encouraged to see that we, Orange County was going to potentially take it, you know, absorb of this film office. It's about accountability. It's about transparency. It's about bringing um, an office that's doing so many great things and bringing it into what we're trying to do. Um, I believe that's the way forward. I understand that some um, are concerned about, about it being independent. Um, I believe that precisely because I wanted to see film succeed in Orange County, I wanted to, to succeed with us and, uh, and have the resources that it needs to, 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 to continue. Um, I'm a definite yes, um, and, I, and I hope that my, my colleagues will be as well. Thank you. Joe. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, as a proponent of the arts, this is um, definitely something I'm embracing within our county. Uh, there's not enough of this, and we need more of this. Um, the arts industry funds and fuels so many things that don't really have uh, measures, uh, but you'll see communities grow from those artistic endeavors and uh, to con continue this and to bring this into the county and hopefully see it prosper. I love the fact that we have embraced this and I'd like to see this move forward. Yes, Barry. Uh, just a few comments. Uh, let me start out by saying that uh, this week in the village of Warwick, there was uh, filming of a pilot for ne Netflix. Uh, they spent a day there, uh, a good deal of money. They supported some of the organizations that supported them. I think this is a, a good first step. It's important to keep the film office viable. The film office is going to benefit by being within tourism because there are, I believe, four or five employees in tourism that are going to be able to help support the efforts of this office in addition to the part-time position that uh, is being created. So I see it as a first step. We're certainly going to be monitoring it. and uh, if the need arises, I'm sure we'll be supportive of growing it uh, as required. Thank you. Paul. Paul added. Joel added, or you want to speak? Added. Okay. Kevin Darian added. And I would like to say, yes, Janice Sutherland added, or you want to speak? Added. Okay. Yeah, we did hear in committee a, a lot of the amenities that are brought from films that Ms. Mealy alluded to during her speech. And uh, I think we're going to see this office more than pay for itself and, and branch out and help other agencies in the county as well. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Yes. Menuda? Yes. O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Tautel? Tui, Vero, Brescia, 21 eyes. Okay, number 16. Legislators Kulasek Menuda, resolution of the Orange County Legislature and the County Executive urging the United States Congress to appropriate funds to pay all the costs associated with the PFOS contamination in Newburgh impacting the residents of Orange County. Vero added. Does anybody not want to be added? I thank the, county, the Deputy County Exec for bringing this to us also. That's been a very serious concern in that area of the county. Yes, anybody want to speak? Or? Yes, Kevin Darian. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, thank you, uh, Acting County Executive Poor, for, for, for doing this. Um, I totally agree. This is unfortunately an issue that has, um, has gone unanswered. Um, we still have uh, uh, our, our city that, is, that is still has no answers from, from DOD. Um, we have a lot of people that are still living in concern, not knowing um, if, their, if their health is at risk or not, um, not knowing what the future of their water source is going to be like, um, and still not knowing if, if uh, future health risks or health costs are going to be addressed. 
Um, I, I, uh, I thank this legislature for, for supporting this resolution, and I, I hope that we'll get answers in the near future because I, we have a community in the city of Newburgh that desperately needs them. Thank you. Okay. John Bureau. Now, I was reading information earlier this week where the U.S. Air Force determined uh, they weren't responsible and weren't going to pay for this. There's no doubt in my mind they are responsible and they should pay for this. I just want to uh, address the other areas uh, that are impacted by this in Orange County. It's not just the city of Newburgh. It is also the outlying areas that are the uh, outfall from Stewart Airport where these contaminations purportedly started. So all of the communities within the area are affected by this in one way or another. Uh, I'm absolutely for this, and I hope everyone else is as well. OK, you ready for roll call? Lori Totel added, roll call. Uh, Kevin Darian added, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 17. Legislators Benelli and Benton, resolution confirming the reappointments and appointment by the county executive to the board of directors of the Orange County Soil and Water Conservation District, pursuant to section 18.07 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Discussion? Steganga added, Vero added, Duke added, Cheney added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Tortel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 17. No, excuse me. 18. 18, I'm sorry. 18. Legislators Benelli and Benton, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Public Works to appropriate funds from a state consolidated local street and highway improvement program pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Peter Tui added, Stiganga added, Joel Sierra added, roll, and Kevin Derry and Lujan. Uh, roll call. Benelli? Yeah. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yeah. Nagdastakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number 19. Legislators Kulisek and Benelli, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Environmental Facilities and Services to apply for and execute a use and occupancy permit for installation of new underground utility wires to service a new flow meter in the Orange County Sewer District No. 1 North and Scepter Sanitary Sewer Main in the New York State right-of-way on Route 17, I-86. And Vero added, Steganga, Steganga Totel, Tui, and Minuta added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Tartel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 20, uh, bond requiring two thirds vote. Legislators Menuda, Benton, Paduke. Bond resolution dated March 7, March 7, 2017. I'm sorry. March 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of buildings and grounds equipment at the Government Center, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 170,000, appropriating set amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 170,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Steganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. Okay, number 21. Another bond. Legislators Menuda, Benelli, Benton, and Kulisek. Bond resolution dated March 7, 2019. 
Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the removal of contaminated soil at various county-owned locations, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Ad Bureau, discussion, okay. Mr. Ganga added. Totel added. Kevin Darian added. I was going to ask why, how, how come the legislators don't want to be added to these bond resolutions, but now they're, you know, this is for cleanup, so that's good. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulasek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Riskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Vero? Brescia? 21 eyes. And number 22. Legislators Ruskevich, Minuda, Minuda, Benton, and Benelli. Bond resolution dated March 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the improvement of intersections, stating the estimated maximum cost thereof is 100,000, appropriating said amount therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 100,000 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Mr. Genga added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Pulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number 23. Legislators Hines, Kulisek, Benton. Bond resolution dated March 7, 2019. Bond resolution of the County of Orange, New York, authorizing the acquisition of voting machines, stating the estimated Estimated total cost thereof is 338285 appropriating said amount, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of 338285 bonds of the county to finance said appropriation. Second. Discussion? Mr. Genga, all the freshman legislators showing you guys up here over here. Come on. Okay, that whole row, I think, right over there. You got them? The whole row. Who else? Bagione. Okay, roll call. <laughs> Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Lujan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Riskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. And number 24. Legislators Benton and Menuda. Resolution approving the release of the county's interest in and to a certain detail deed sale parcel to the previous owner of record pursuant to section 5, paragraph B1 of local law number 2 of 2010. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Pulisek? Lujan? Menuda? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra? Staganga? Sutherland? Totel? Tui? Bureau? Brescia? 21 eyes. Number 25. Legislators Benton and Anagnostakis. Resolution authorizing the private sale and conveyance of certain county-owned lands acquired by reason of a failure to redeem said lands from a tax sale to Orange County pursuant to section 10184 of the Real Property Tax Law and Orange County Amended Local Law Number 2 of 2010. Second. Discussion? Bureau added. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Duke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Okay, number 26 and 27 collectively. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Lujan? Minuta? O'Donnell? Ruskevich? Sassy? Sierra, Staganga, Sutherland, Tortel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 21 eyes. Number 28. Legislator Sutherland and Tortel. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Social Services to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion. Paduke added Staganga. Uh, Lujan, Tui, Cheney. Oh, abstain? Kevin Darian's abstaining, I'm sorry. Cheney, Ruskevich, one abstention. Okay, and Kulisak, too. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduke? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? 
Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Menuda, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, one abstention. Okay, number 29. Legislators Totel and Sutherland. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Children and Family Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Kulisek added. Paduk added. Stiginga added. Add Sierra to 28 too, right? And you want to be on 29 as well? Okay, Minuta added. Okay, did I miss anybody? Totel added? Okay. No? You're, you want to be on? You're already on, okay. That would help if I looked at it, right? <laughs> Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Emo? Yeah. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines? Kulisek? Luhan? Minuta? O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, one abstention. Okay, number 30. Legislators Tui and Totel, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Department of Health pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Duke added, Luhan, Steganga, Min Luhan? I'm sorry. Oh, you want to speak? Okay. Let me just get a couple more. Minuto was added, Sierra, Ruskevich, Sutherland, Kulisek, and go ahead, Kevin Darian. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sorry about that. Sorry. Uh, um, just a quick comment. Um, and I will be abstaining for, for, for the time being on anything having to do with Orange County, but I do want to say I previously have voted for this in the, in the past because I believe that it's really something that we need. Um, so many people who work in human services recognize that it's so necessary to be able to have a, a number, to, a one-track number, but I will be abstaining from this as well. Thank you very much. Okay. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? And Agnostakis? Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, abstaining, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, one abstention. And okay, number 31. Legislators Totel and Anagnostakis. Resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Mental Health pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Paduk added, Sutherland added, Minuta added, Steganga, Tui, Sierra. Roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Cheney, Fagione, Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Min Mm -hmm. Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, one abstention. And number 32. Legislators Tui and Totel, resolution authorizing the county executive in conjunction with the Orange County Department of Mental Health to accept and appropriate funds from the New York State Office of Alcoholism and Substance Abuse Services pursuant to section 99-H of a general municipal law and section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Kulisek added, Steganga added, roll call. Oh, Sutherland added, was that Sutherland? Yes, Sutherland added, roll call. Benelli? Yes. Paduk? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Cheney? Fagione? Hines, Kulisek, Luhan, Minuta, O'Donnell, Ruskevich, Sassy, Sierra, Steganga, Sutherland, Totel, Tui, Vero, Brescia. 20 ayes, Mr. Chairman, with one abstention. The desk is clear. Okay, just a couple quick things. I have uh, Commissioner of Elections, Republican Commissioner David Green was here earlier. Some of us saw the presentation at the Board of Elections yesterday. It was impressive with respect to the, new, the equipment for early voting. 
a very impressive presentation. I would like to recognize uh, the Acting County Executive Harry Porter is here tonight, County Attorney Langdon Chapman, and I do have to say that it is a rare treat, a rare treat indeed. We seldom see spouses of county legislators come to our meetings except Nikki Rowe and at uh, swearing in ceremonies. But I would like to give a shout out to my friend Regina Hines, who's out in the audience. <laughs> she makes a hell of a sausage bread, too. I'm sure I'm, sure I'm not going to hear the end of that one. Go ahead, uh, Michael. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a, a, a sort of an announcement, good news. You know, much as we've talked about the, the fentanyl problem, and I know Rob Sassy's led that effort for us. Uh, in, in January, we were able to get the topic on the NISAC Health and Public Health Committee to have it discussed. And one of the recommendations of that committee was that NISAC should form a, uh, a special group just to follow this and work on it. And I've just read not received notification that Steve Acorio has approved the formation of a synthetic drug work group that I hope that Mr. Sassy and others here will recommend to you to recommend to Mr. Acorio who should be on that committee because I think Orange County started it and we should have a seat on that committee. Uh, Rob and I have already talked about the kinds of people, titles, because it will be a statewide effort. But I think whoever they pick, we should have somebody from the Orange. Excellent. Yeah, we'll, we'll be looking forward to a recommendation from you, Rob, and probably Kathy goes to a lot of the nice yeah. events. Okay, so. Good. We, 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 take it, we take it to the next level so it won't just be fentanyl. It could be synthetic marijuana, synthetic any drug. Absolutely. Thank you for that. Was that what you wanted to speak to, Rob? You're good? No, okay, go ahead. Then, then Kathy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I just uh, want to remind everybody, next month's meeting is Youth in Government. So it's a morning meeting. Uh, very important year for Youth in Government. It's the 75th anniversary. And students from all of our school districts will be attending. Um, I hope that everyone is able to make it. And more important, if you can make the luncheon as well. Um, <clears throat> Gene will be happy to pay for you. The legislature, Chairman Brescia, they'll pay for you. It's a nice lunch, and the kids really uh, are ecstatic when they get to sit with a lawmaker such as ourselves. So if you can make the luncheon, we greatly appreciate it. I know people are busy, but if you can, it would be a great treat for the kids. So I look forward to seeing you on April 5th. Thank you. Yes, Matthew, you were next. Um, yes, I just wanted to follow up on uh, what Legislator Amo said. We were down, myself and Legislator Ruskevich were down at the NACO conference this past weekend, um, and there was a lot of talk about the opioids. It's not just here, it's everywhere. Um, so we did bring up the um, motion and the resolution that we passed. There was a lot of networking going on to see what's going on, how different counties and states and so forth are dealing with it. Um, so I look forward to sharing the information once I get my packets put together with everybody to, sh to let you know what they're doing, what they're projecting, and how the federal government is actually going to be looking at different um, avenues as far as making fentanyl illegal all the way around so there is no way of them changing the drugs so that they can beat the system. Thank you. Grand Marshal O'Donnell. Well, thank you, Chairman. I just want to congratulate uh, Legislator Sassy with all the work he's done for Youth in Government Day from his years as a teacher. He's uh, done a tremendous job with this, and as he stated, the 75th anniversary. Uh, it should be noted he hasn't missed one single one. So thank you. <laughs> one, more, <laughs> one more comment, Legislator Fagione. Thank you, Chairman. I'd just like to remind uh, all that are here tonight, as well as uh, people that will be watching this video that um, the uh, Orange County, uh, the Rules Committee will convene our public hearing on the comprehensive plan of Orange County. We had one first session in Newburgh and uh, the second session of that public hearing will be Wednesday, March 20th at 5 p.m. here in Chambers. And it is open to the public. Public comment is uh, invited to uh, be made at the meeting and will also accept written comment as well. And that is the public hearing on the comprehensive plan. It'll be Wednesday, March 20th at 5 p.m. here in the chambers. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you again for that. And uh, happy birthday again from yesterday to you, sir. Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Carried. Sorry about this. I'm going to apologize.
earlier, there was a proclamation uh, given to the Orange County Multiple Myeloma. Myeloma. Yes, oh, I'm with the Multiple Myeloma Group. My name's Gabriel Rodriguez. I'm a member of the Orange County Multiple Myeloma Group. One more minute. Go ahead, sir. And uh, Sorry about that. My name is Gabe Rodriguez. I'm a member of the uh, Orange County Multiple Myeloma Support Group, and we wanted to thank the Orange County Legislation for recognizing Multiple Myeloma Action Month and to helping bring this to the attention of the public. Uh, we just want to let you know what Multiple Myeloma is. It's an incurable uh, blood cancer, and there is treatment, but it's not curable. And there's a lot of progress uh, that's been made in the past uh, five, 10, years and it's helping people extend their lives and, and live as productively as they can. Um, we're affiliated with the International Multiple Myeloma Foundation and our group supports uh, education of multiple myeloma for patients and caregivers. It's very important for people to understand what their needs are going to be throughout the stages of multiple myeloma, like most cancers. Um, I was I was pretty uh, uh, blown away when I was when I, when I was diagnosed. Uh, I had just lost my sister to stage four cancer, and I really thank the legislation for, for recognizing us. And um, I think that's about it. I want to thank also Adina uh, Epstein, who's who's a great person, and without her, this group was wouldn't be possible. And and I would like to thank Ed for giving me the courage to stand up here and talk to you. That's it. That's all I have to say. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. I'm glad you did show up, though, because you explained it a whole lot better than I did. Oh, and uh, so we, thank you so you know, much. I appreciate we're happy to recognize your group. Thank and work you, guys. It means a lot for to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.